Hey everyone. Sorry if my video is a little shaky. I have to hold my camera because I'm in my truck. But um, I wanted to come on and sneak away and make a video for you guys. I know the month of August video wise on my channel has been a little bit slow because it's the end of summer and when my little minions go back to school then I have more quiet time for you guys. <laughs> but I still try to sneak away. And today I had, um, I wouldn't even say it was downloads, it was just um, realizations that maybe there's some things I need to share about my journey that will help other twin flames um, and their journey. Especially because there's a lot of the divine feminine perspective online, but there's not a lot of the divine masculine. And in my twin flame dynamic, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm the Divine Masculine, so I'm the runner, and that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about why the runner runs, <laughs> and obviously everyone's situation is different, but I'm going to try to generalize so others are able to relate to this, and maybe if you're a Divine Feminine um, watching this, you could um, send the video to your Divine Masculine and they will have a better understanding of what they're going through. And then if you're the Divine Feminine and you're dealing with somebody who runs, you're gonna be able to understand them better. And that's exactly what happened between me and my counterpart. Um, so basically, we're in union. We've been in union, it'll be a year in November, or the end of October, sometime in October, I don't know, sometime in that general area we've been together together in union um, and then we went through all those fun twin flame stages before that um, so I was continuously feeling urges to run for the first seven months of union and what would happen is whenever I would like get bumped out of alignment my ego would take over and that's when I would want to run that's when I would literally only focus on the negative qualities of my twin and self-sabotage the entire situation. All I would do is sit there and be like, you're a spiritual person, you know your worth, you have this checklist of things that every person should have and if this person's negative qualities aren't on that list or they go against that list, then why are you in this situation? It was like my ego would just take over. And like, you know, it's funny, like when we focus on someone's positive qualities, they grow as an individual. They grow as a person, they have more confidence. They, um, it, you build someone up. What you focus on, you manifest more of. So if you focus on the positive things in an individual, they're going to become, um, a better person and you're going to see more of that in your relationships but when you focus on on when you're focusing on the negative things then um, that's exactly what you're gonna manifest and for me it was like when when I would get in a lower space and I would like get bumped my vibration would get bumped down or I would come out of alignment I would only focus on these things these and most of them were like petty things, but I would explode them into something that was like much more than it really was to have a reason to run because of this fear, because I was out of alignment. And that's exactly why I give the people the advice of, if you are not in alignment in this twin flame dynamic, but in life in general, but mainly in this twin flame dynamic, this works, especially if you're the runner. If you're not in alignment, do not say a word. Do not talk to people. Do not act on anything. Go center yourself. Go center yourself and then, trust me, your whole mind will change once you come back into alignment. You're like, oh, why was I making such a big deal about this? Or why was I not realizing that the amazing things about this individual trump the things that I'm sitting here being petty about? Like, there's, there's so many more great things about my twin than these things that I'm being fearful of when I'm not even in alignment. So I can't even trust those feelings of fear and those feelings of wanting to run because when I feel them, I'm not in alignment. You can't trust that because you're not connected to your higher self. So don't act when you're not in alignment because you can't trust that. And once you get the hang of it, this is a practice. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes like 
your relationship becomes much smoother and you get to know it. You get to learn and grow together. And for me, like I, I knew I was the divine masculine. I knew I was the runner, but I, I didn't figure this out until like seven months in that it was like, whoa, every time I run, it's not because of me. It, it's not because of him. I mean, it's not because of all these negative things I'm saying or thinking about him or what could go wrong in our relationship. It's because of me. It's because of these fears I have. It's because of these abandonment issues in my childhood. It's because of X, Y, and Z. Everyone's situation is different. But every single time a divine masculine or divine feminine, because they can run sometimes too, anytime you feel like running, it's be it's a fear. And it's you. Anything that you're like projecting on the other person is you and it's somewhere you need to work it's an energy block you need to clear it's very important to be conscious of this that's what they talk about consciousness and raising consciousness consciousness is being aware being the observer in your life being able to be conscious of oh I'm acting in this way oh I'm out of alignment being conscious of those things so you're able to choose a different perspective so you're able to see a bunch of perspectives to even be able to choose one instead of repeating patterns and always choosing the same response to everything it's crucial and it's funny because like I'm the divine masculine in my relationship but I also hold a lot of a divine feminine energy and that's the reason why I'm even in union with my twin. He's a beautiful balance of both the divine masculine and divine feminine energies. And I am like coming into balance. I'm bringing more divine feminine energy in. And it's, um, I mean, that's why I have this channel. That's why I'm getting downloads. That's why I'm growing spiritually because I'm finding that balance. That's why um, me and my twin came into union because he was finding that balance too. So he manifested me and I manifested him. And we like we're magnets together I mean if you I mean I'm I don't put like the in-depth personal parts of our relationship on here but if you understood the depths of the crap we went through to be together um it would blow your mind like these two you would say these two have to be in deep love with each other to go through all the things they went to and still be like the most amazing love that I've ever experienced in my life and that's the thing like it's so hard for me to explain to people who have not experienced that kind of love what that love really feels like and I feel like that's why a lot of people in regular 3d relationships like they think it's love because it's that honeymoon period because they have nothing to compare it to they don't they've never experienced that love so all they can do is guess like this must be it this must be it and that it's I just a bunch of trial and error but it's okay because those relationships are there to help us grow they're there to help us repeat a cycle so then we can come back that next cycle around and be able to choose a different perception if we've grown we'll be able to and then we'll be able to grow from that and maybe come into a different soulmate relationship or meet a twin flame like if you haven't met your twin flame maybe you have a couple soulmate relationships in between or maybe if you haven't come into union through Twin Flame, you have a couple relationships with other people in order to clear things in your life, in order to grow, that will suit you better and the universe is bringing to you now because to prepare you for the Twin Flame. Because you have to become, you have to come to a certain level in your spiritual growth to be able to manifest that in your life. That, that relationship that, that will really like bring you into enlightenment and, and become the best, most amazing, most brightest light, shining light worker. That even makes sense, but you know what I'm saying. Like just to be your best you. And it's an infinite amount of growth. There is no destination. Like we will constantly be growing, but yeah, you have to come to a certain level to be able to experience it. And then once you get there, it's still not over. There's a lot of growth. Like, and that's just the thing. Like now when I get triggered and I get in um, a space where I want to run, which is like very rare, I don't run anymore because I know what it is. I'm like, oh shit. I feel like I want to run time to go like have spend some time with myself I don't even really have to meditate I mean it's great to meditate but for me everybody's different like I'll go paint or I'll go just like have even have a moment in a room where nobody's at take some deep breaths center myself 
think about things after I get centered, then I start thinking about things and seeing them from different perspective instead of this egoic perspective, this perspective from non-alignment. And then I bring myself into alignment and I choose a better perspective and I come out and usually apologize to my twin. If I open my mouth before, you know, go and centering myself, because if I do open my mouth, then I'll say things that I wish I wouldn't have said. But if I let it spiral too much, that's when you run out of the relationship. So that's the thing. Like you have to come to a certain point where you can actually be in union and like stay there, even though you have urges to run when you come out of alignment. But I finally, it's great because I'm like finally to that point where I'm like, okay, like I'm probably not going to like run, run ever again. Like it would take a lot. I don't, I just can't see it. But, um, it's because I practice this. I practice this centering myself before I speak or act, coming into alignment, seeing the situation for what it is, seeing that focusing on the, all the negative qualities is going to manifest that negative, that running, that it's going to manifest negative things. When you focus on the positive things, you, fo you will uh, manifest positive things. So like you have to get into alignment before you speak or before you act. But it was funny because I'm just going to add this in because it's a great different perspective of seeing this and doesn't have to do with relationships but I was thinking about this this morning because I had there was a meme and it that I had posted on my Facebook and it was about how a teacher had inspired this guy to be a writer because she told him some random poem he wrote about clouds was amazing and that he was a good writer okay and I was like I love that I absolutely love that but then it made me think back to like when I was in high school and college and I was always in advanced classes but I never felt advanced I always felt like I wasn't good enough okay and I could it was like there was always someone better than me and that's all I could focus on was the negative stuff it's because the way our education system like assesses us so we just assume we are whatever a teacher says we are and because they're so about grades and like and like really critical about like where a period should be or where a comma should be and like not really seeing children for their creativity and stuff and like using positive reinforcement so like if you tell a kid that their their poem is amazing even though they had some grammatical errors they're gonna think their poem was freaking amazing but if you sit there and you just make a bunch of red marks all over it they're gonna be self-critical and that's how the system kind of breeds people into being insecure and dependent on it because we come out having very little life skills that we learn in school but being very critical of ourselves very insecure of ourselves um, feeling like we can't do things in the video I just posted yesterday um, it was about becoming less dependent on the system like learn to fix your own vehicles learn to do your own plumbing like that's those are stupid little examples I was using but it's just like how we don't have to be so dependent on the system but the reason that we are is because we think we can't do things for ourselves and times are changing you know like we're gonna be we're gonna become a whole different culture like that's what we're as light workers and twin flames are bringing in we're bringing in higher consciousness in our culture and that's gonna create people that are less dependent on the big corporations and the government and everything else and they're gonna become more independent and that's why those structures are gonna crumble and this is a little off topic but the reason that I was going to bring it full circle because when it comes to focusing on positive things just like the teacher focused on that positive thing in that kid and he became a writer it's the same thing in the twin flame dynamic it's the same thing in any situation you could um, apply it to that's why they always that's the law of attraction it's the it's the basics of the law of attraction what you focus on is what you will manifest and I could go off on another tangent, but I kind of want to keep it to this um, specific topic. So, um, yeah, if you know a runner in this video could uh, benefit them, or if you know anyone else who is a twin flame, which, by the way, I know a lot of twin flames who the females are the divine masculine and are the runners. So, um, that's not all that common. I know a lot of people think divine, like they put the gender to it, but we all know by this time probably that it could be different sexualities, uh, 
gay, bisexual, whatever. Like, the dynamic of twin flames doesn't just have to be, like, straight people and a man is the masculine and a female is the divine feminine. Like, that's not how it works. These are energies. These aren't these stupid labels that every, you know, I guess divine masculine, divine feminine is a label. But it's so important to know these things because just like I'm making this video right now, because I know I'm the runner, because we know that there's patterns that there's a divine masculine who usually runs because we know these labels and these patterns. This helps us to help each other recognize these patterns and in turn have a discussion about it so we can help each other. Like I'm trying to reach out to others right now so maybe they can relate to my situation and try what I'm trying because it's working for me so maybe it'll work for you. So that's why everyone's like, oh, screw labels and all that stuff. They're important though. They're important for us to help each other. We're still human beings and we still see things linearly. So yes, we are like raising our vibration coming into these new dimension dimensions and merging into 4d and 5d but we still have to interact in our real world we still have to pay the bills we still are human beings so that's why it's important for um us to be able to label things for this not because of like we want to be like enforce duality it's so we can understand each other better because I think if we're on this journey that most of us know that we're one like like we're not trying to push duality but I get why a label would but that's not in this type of situation I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent about labels but I just want people to see it in that way because a lot of people are like anti-twin flames why are we labeling each other no like I hear random people on the internet say things like that and it's just like we have to be able to communicate and understand each other as human beings and be able to relate so we can help each other. So they are important to a, to a point. And every perspective, technically, is right. Everybody has a different perspective, so it's true for them. So when you're on YouTube or you're researching or talking to somebody, just take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, then leave it. Like, we, it's not a big deal. Nothing's really a big deal. We all overcomplicate this whole, like, earth reality. <laughs> like, this whole process. It's just a big experiment. Don't take it too seriously. And just remember my biggest piece of advice. Get aligned before you speak and before you act. It will save you a lot of freaking headaches. It saves me a lot of headaches. <laughs> but I love you guys. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, just look up Kelsey Franks. All my services are on my website. Um, KelseyFranks.com and I will talk to you soon.